Give me chapter, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Because what we hey brothers, what we show it today is that the black and Hispanic men are the Israelites according to the Bible. Yeah. And you gotta repeat and keep God's commandments. Why? Because the black Messiah, Jesus Christ, is coming back with vengeance and wrath for all those who don't keep his commandments. That's right. So when I heard that, when you understand that, you'll begin to consider your ways. You'll begin to say, hey, what are these men on the corner talking about? They out here every day teaching, yelling at the top of their lungs because we love and uh, uh, honor what God says. We love our people. Read. Right. Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. The Bible said the black and Hispanic man's sons and daughters will be given unto another people. Hey, we're reading um, slavery, child slavery from 1492 all the way up until today. We're reading about the things that happened to the black man. Hey, brother, you ever consider why you got the same last name? Well, you ever consider why you got the same last name as a white president? Or why you got the same last name as a white man? Bring it or you got the same last name as some old, old, old white man? Or old, old, old you know, just, you ever consider yeah, that? No, that or an old Spaniard? Or an old, or an old Spaniard? The Bible prophesied about that. The Bible said that the black and Hispanic man will go into slavery or slave ships, will be sold to another nation, and they will change our names. Because we all have the surname of Israel. Right. Hey, Migo, hermano, the Bible is talking to this, the black and Hispanic men are the same people. Mira, mira. Right. There's no coincidence that you have a Spaniard last name. Right. That, I have a, that I have an English or American last name. Right. Because we were sold to the, to the Americans. We were sold to the Dutch. We were sold to the Spanish, the conquistadors. Right. The Bible talks about all of that. Give me that. Give me the byword in the proverb. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. The Bible said the black and Hispanic man will become an astonishment unto the nation. We will become an astonishment unto all those who look at us. That's why when you on TV, when you look at any type of mass media, when you look up and down, Northeast 23rd, any ghetto, any neighborhood in the, throughout the world, you go and you find the blacks and Hispanics, and we're selling drugs to one another. We're sagging our pants, our women twerking, teaching our young women how to twerk. Right. We have no order as a people. God said we'll be an astonishment among the nations. That's you know what an astonishment is? We got a church on every corner in the black and Hispanic community, but there's still no success and prosperity as a people. That's an astonishment amongst the nations. How these people got 30 churches on one block, but they still killing each other. Right. They still hate each other. Right. They still got single parent households because we stopped keeping the... Hey, brother, brother, you know what? Hey, we're going to keep the commandments of God. Right. It's no coincidence. It don't matter how much money you make, how many politicians we got sitting in the White House, how many senators we got going up to the White House every year, how many black presidents we got, how many um, black uh, caucuses we got, how many black conglomerates we got? We gotta keep the commandments of God. Right. This is, hey, the give me that line to a one. Because the black and Hispanic man, we wanna gather together under every other banner, under every under um, idol or philosophy, except what the Bible says. Right. Right. Because, and I'm, I'm not gonna boast, because we, I want to stop those things as well. Right. So what I found out, and what we're challenging you to do, brother, is to read the Bible. Right. Really yeah. consider what we're saying. Right. You got men over here yelling at the top of their lungs with passion every day, and we're teaching them the Bible. Right. We, got, we have Bibles on the corner. Right. We're living in the last days. Read. Right. Zephaniah chapter two and verse one. Uh -huh. Gather yourselves together, yea. Gather together, all nations not desire. The Bible said the black and Hispanic, we must gather together under God's law. We can't gather together under the white man's politics. Hey, right. brother, hey, brother, the red side. The Bible said the black and Hispanic man and woman are the Israelites. Right. And we can't gather together under the white man's politics, under his idolatries, under his customs, Christmas. Hey, Christmas is not in the Bible. Right. Stop right. celebrating your birthday. Right. Stop smoking all the damn weed. Right. Weed. Right. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. We're not desired because we stopped keeping the commandments of God. Right. We stopped keeping the commandments of God. Give me Romans 13. We stopped keeping the commandments of God. That's why we're not desired as a people. We just read to you the curses in the Bible. Actually, we do Deuteronomy 28, verse 47. Uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 47. Read. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Bring it out. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. See, God, it's, no, it's, it's not a mystery why we're in the situation that we're in. The Bible shows us curses clearly onto why the black and Hispanic man and woman, we hate one another. Why we can't gather together. The, hey, brother, you ever consider why somebody like 50 Cent, LeBron James, Jay, and even with all this money, but yet our community still looks like this. Why we can't come together as one nation, one people, and really prosper? Right I'm going to tell you why, because we stop keeping the commandments of God. Right. The black right. Panthers didn't have the answer. But Barack Obama don't have the answer. Right. The celebrities don't have the answer. Right. Right. The Marcus Harvey and like, MLK didn't have the answer. The Bible's right here. The Bible said the black and Hispanics are the Israelites. And you got to right. repent. Read. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Because we don't enjoy keeping the Sabbath day. Because we turn our heads away and we shake our heads at the men teaching and prophesying about the things that happen in the Bible. We don't care about that. You don't care about that these men are out here teaching every day. You haven't even considered or even thought, dang, why are these brothers down here all the time teaching? Why are you reading the Bible all the time? Give me Romans 13 11. Give me Romans 13 11. Bring it out. Bring Romans it out. 13 and verse 11. Uh -huh. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Hey, sister. Hey, sister. The Bible says it's high time for the black and Hispanic woman and man to wake out of sleep. That's we right. need a black woman. We need black or Hispanic sisters, our Native American sisters, to repent and come back to God's law, chapters, and commandments. Read it one more time, read it. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now is our salvation nearer than we believe. We understand, hey sister, the Bible said it's high time for the black and Hispanic woman to awake out of sleep. You gotta stop telling, you gotta stop celebrating your birthday, Christmas, Easter, that's not in the Bible. You say you believe in the Bible, but you haven't opened up and read. You haven't really took heed to what the Bible has said, sister. Right. We have to do this. I had to do it. We all had to really consider our ways. And that's what we are trying to do. We want the people, we want everybody to consider their ways because now when it's high time, before Christ comes back with judgment, with anger, with wrath, and he's going to destroy the earth with thermonuclear destruction. Right. That means that's a nuke, a bomb. That's what it is. It's going to, he's going to destroy the earth with a bomb. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 21. For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. So the world by wisdom knew not God. That's why all these other philosophies, you think you, they got you about Jesus, the president, um, all these people who, have, who are proclaiming themselves to have wisdom, but read. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching. So what you may see as foolishness, so what you may shake your head at, so what you may be confused at, God said it pleased him. Read it one more time. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching uh -huh. to save them that believe. To say what? To save them that believe. He said to save those that believe. Right. So what that means is not everybody's going to be saved. Those that believe on the word of God. Those that, those that believe that the black and Hispanic man must repent and keep God's commandments. Those will be saved. Give me Luke right. 1. Bring Give it out. Luke 1. Uh, those are the people that will be saved. So you gotta keep God's commandments. Okay. Oh. Luke chapter Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Hey, the Bible is dealing with the so-called black Hispanic man and woman. It said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Hey, sister, the Bible is talking to the black and Hispanic man and woman. The Bible says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Not the China man, not the white man, but the Israelites according right. to the Bible. Yes. The black right. and Hispanic man and woman and sister, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. Read. And has raised up in the horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet, which have been since the world began. So that Savior, that Messiah, that, that one that's coming to save those that believe he's a black man according to the Bible. Hey, hey sister. Jesus Christ is a black man. Jesus Christ, Moses, Job, all the people in the Bible were black men and women. 
You don't read that in church. Hey, your church and pastor have been lying to you. Christianity has been lying to you. Right. what you got. Verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies. The Bible said we'll be saved from those same enemies that put us in slavery in 1492, in 1619. Those same enemies that kill our brothers and sisters throughout the, throughout America today. Right. We're being slaughtered and killed as a people. Right. That's weird. That's because we're in captivity in the land of our enemies. Right. The Bible calls. Don't get it confused. The white man, every other nation who opposed themselves to, to game change against what the Bible says, who, who um who talks down upon the black and Hispanic man, who um despises you, who poisons your food, poisons your water, he um uh, poisons your body. Right. Pushes a portion on you. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.